My name's Mike, and it's my mission to show you how easy it is to grow food. And today, I'm taking our recent pineapple top. It's been sitting in some nasty water for a few days. Haven't been able to get out here, but I uh, need to put this pineapple in the ground. We're here in my front pineapple patch, which was basically the beginning of our entire food forest. This area, it's very sandy. We have a mulch bed on top. It gets a good amount of shade in the afternoon. Sun pretty much right from the get-go. Sunrise to about one o'clock, it hits the big trees here. And after that, it's the sun's on the other side of the house. So um, I'll show you some of our other pineapples we have here and how well they are doing. Pretty much every pineapple we eat, we save the top, put it in the ground. I have uh, four or five of them out back in the food forest as well. I haven't done a pineapple video, and one thing you need to know is when you screw off the top, you don't necessarily have to cut it and take some of the good pineapple with you. You can just wiggle and screw this right off. You can stick it right in the ground, I've done that as well, or you can put it in a cup just to keep it moist until it's ready to go in the ground. I've seen people put it in a cup until it has roots and then they pot it or put it in the ground. But for me, I just like to keep it in there until I'm ready so it's a little bit moist. And then you wanna pull off these bottom leaves here. I've done this without pulling the bottom leaves off. The first ones we did, we just kinda of threw them in the ground. And I'll show you the first one we ever planted it is actually doing pretty well. So I think it's very hard to do this the wrong way. Like most stuff that I've learned and seen here in Central Florida and elsewhere, just go and do it. Try it. Who cares what works for other people and what doesn't work? Try it out yourself, experiment, and see what works for you. So this thing is about ready. I can feel the wet leaves still, so I'm just gonna pull off some more here on the bottom. I'm gonna leave this as like a, not necessarily a chop and drop, but I'm gonna leave it here. And you can see the layers that we've taken off, as well as what the pineapple stem looks like. And this isn't anything special really. Cats uh, chewed on some of these, and this is where all the new growth is gonna start coming from, which actually looks like there might be some new growth in there. So we're going to get this in the ground. We'll be right back. Cut to the time lapse. That's about all there is to it. Some people water it from the top. I water a lot of these either from the sides or from the top. This one is kind of in between. I think these are about a year old. And one of our birds of paradise here. So eventually as this gets bigger and bigger, it may take over some more space. But these will be far gone by then hopefully and it won't matter much but nonetheless this is our 13th pineapple out in the front and let me show you the rest of them that we have out here so this is our front pineapple patch and this was the first one we ever planted and I want to say it was over two years ago uh, maybe just over two years I feel like it's been closer to three years, but, you know, can't remember everything, but you can see all of our pineapples. This one here, oh, I might try and find a video. This one we thought was completely dead. It like burnt to a crisp, put it in the ground. And now it actually looks like there might be, I don't know if this is a pup or a brother growing out of the side. This one's doing some funky stuff here. It's just got a couple of weird leaves the way it's growing. And the rest of them are all doing pretty well. That one, not so much. You can't really say that for that one. And then our other two. And this one looks like it has a little pup or brother growing out of it as well. I have read that when they grow one, they can grow a second one afterwards. So, I mean, this one is about three feet tall. 
sorry, this one's about three feet tall. And still no fruit coming out of there, but looking pretty good. There's, there's Hazel. So I'll show you some in the back. Let's go check out some of the back ones in the food forest. Okay, so knowing how big they get, and even though there's a lot of room back here, I want these strategically placed around the food forest. So you can see we have one pineapple here. That one's several months old. This one is less than a year old, I would say. And another pineapple here is only several months old. They all have green growth. They're looking fantastic. I mean, this one here is like your picturesque pineapple. Minus the pineapple fruit. And one more kind of tucked away in the back here. This squash plant has really taken over. And this one's maybe a month or two old, and you can see all this new growth up here. I mean, this is where it was kind of dead. Cats attacked it. So this one will be with some shade. The crepe myrtle here, some of the other trees. So I'm really thinking about where to plant these pineapples as we eat them and, and try to propagate the tops of them. I think the next one's gonna go right here behind the frangipani. This longevity spinach, I may cut back and propagate some of those limbs. But I think that might be the next spot for it. Again, knowing how big it's gonna get, I need to be mindful of what's around it. If I need to get the spinach from this side or do any kind of trimming to this frangipani or really just get in here at all, uh, a couple years from now, this pineapple might not make the most sense. But that might have been a decent spot where that aloe is. Maybe when that tomato plant is done, we can pop the pineapple in there. This lemongrass I'm gonna take out soon, that lemongrass as well. So, I mean, there's plenty of room around here. I could possibly put one over by the bananas. I've even been contemplating over here under this crappy oak tree or just tucking a few more back along the fence there. But nonetheless, it's something to consider when planting pineapples, how big they're gonna get, how much growth they're gonna take over, sun, shade, water, all that good stuff. These do get a healthy drink. The ones in the front, I don't water them as much and they've been doing really well. They are under the gutters, so when it rains, they get plenty of water. But that's it for today. Thank you for checking in, tuning in for some pineapple talk. And like, subscribe, share this video. More great stuff from Central Florida and my food forest coming soon. Peace and love.